Okay. Um, for those of you who are not aware of it, Kadian Live has released a new version, and this is 0 0.9. And I'm going to have a look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Zero point nine brings some new items to the table and gives you more power at your fingertips. And uh, I've never seen a video editor that provides uh, features such as one feature in particular is the ability to uh, import uh, from online resources. And the online resources that you can download from are uh, Creative Commons and open um, projects. So you can download and use music, uh, clip art, and that sort of thing, which is royalty free and open source. Gotta love it. Um, let me read to you some of the things that you get with this, and then I'll take some time to play with some of these features. Uh, it's an improved effects workflow. The effects stack was rewritten to allow adjusting parameters for several several effects in one go. You also can have automatic audio alignment. If you've been working on a scene with several camcorders, Caden Live can now automatically align the clips in the timeline using the audio, which is a wonderful feature. Um, you can easily import online resources that I just mentioned. There are some usability improvements that come with this. And then, of course, on this page, and uh, let me show you how to navigate to this page. You just visit cadenlive.org and then just click the link stating Caden Live 0.9 released. When you click here, okay, there is a download link or you can download the binary packages and compile this for your system. Uh, let's go into the download link and it looks like this is an actual tarball. So you may want to, uh, if you download the tarball and you want to compile this on your system, be sure that you extract the contents and follow the instructions for installing this. There are also instructions on this web website for uh, installing this. Optionally, depending on the Linux distribution that you are using, you may be able to download this in your software repositories if they haven't updated already. Okay, and I'm not even sure what date. Uh, let me cancel this. I don't really want to download it because I already have it. This was released on the 15th, which was Tuesday. So, um, very nice. This, this update actually came into my system overnight uh, when I decided to do a synchronize and they upgraded my kernel and that sort of thing. The joys of running Arch, let me tell you. Okay, so we can go ahead and close this right now, and uh, why don't we start bringing some footage in that we can start to work with. First, I'm going to resize uh, this so I have a better view of um, what clips I'm going to have in my library. Okay, I'm going to add my regular clips here, and we'll open those, and then they will import into the project. Now. I have my standard little intro uh, that I always use, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this in. Now, the first thing that I forgot to mention is, whenever you're opening up a blank project, you want to save it first. I didn't save it first this time, so let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to press the Save button, and I'm going to call this Kden09. And then select save. Now, you will notice I have an audio file here uh, on my introduction, but that audio is going to disappear when I add an effect to it. So let's go ahead and do that now. First, I'm going to add a motion effect and adjust its speed. Okay, and I want this speed to be at 150%.
and you will see it is now shortened a little bit. Maybe I want to add another effect too. So let's go into fun and um, let's add old film. Okay, I actually want this to be on the timeline. We're probably not going to be able to see this in real time, actually. But we'll see it when it renders. You'll see it as it's rendering out and playing. Um, because you're going to see this effect at the beginning of the movie. All right, and... Um, we have speed and old film, and then we can add another effect. How about dust? I'm just going to leave them as is, but now we have options for dragging these, and you can reposition your effects in the stack, which I think is kind of cool. Now, another feature of this program is that we can download some music from online resources. So why don't we use that? That's in the tool option here. I'm sorry, in the project option. And then online resources. And everybody knows I love heavy metal music. So we're going to, there are three services that this pulls off of. You get the free sound audio library. You get the archive.org video library and the open clip art graphic library. So you have three li libraries with which to choose from and all of the material that you will download using this little applet will uh, be free and open source and released under a Creative Commons license. So let's go into the free sound library and then I'm going to type in heavy metal. and then perform a search. Naturally, you want to be connected online for this. And while we're waiting for that search to go through, I'll have a sip of coffee. All right, after searching the online resources, we see that we have some results that came up and there are 487 results. This distorted guitar triplet sounds good, so we are going to go ahead and uh, it downloads that so we can preview it. It'll take a moment for it to play. Internet's a little bit slow today. All right, I'll fly with that one. We'll import it. And uh, we'll save it to the video file folder. That's fine. All right. And then we can pull this into our clip here. Now I'm going to drag this down a little bit here to the audio because we're going to be and actually I only need two audio layers so I can actually just delete that track so I have two video and two audio layers but you can use as many uh, video layers as you want and then we're going to go ahead again and drag that in there because that is a sound loop and uh, I can even zoom in a little bit so that we can have better control over what we're doing here I'm going to drag this in again and then I'm going to want this audio to fade out. So by dragging the upper corner here, I can have that fade out. And then by pressing play, all right, kind of cool. <laughs> all right, now uh, let's go ahead and pull in another clip. Um, why not add the introduction to this video? So I'm going to pull in uh, zero, 00. It's going to load that in. And then I'm going to drag it to the timeline here. 
Now, one thing you're going to notice at the top here, you'll see my terminal. That's because I am using a command line to do my screen capturing. So I'm going to need to cut out the part where I'm using the terminal. So I'm just going to grab this edge, and you'll see this green arrow. And I'm just going to drag that on over until I don't see that in the preview here. And then I can position this right about the point where I cut out that audio so that it's transitioning out. Okay. Um, for those of you who are not aware of it, all right, so now we have our intro and that sort of thing, and then I can start throwing in other clips as necessary as well. Um, I really like the effect stack that they've done with this. I also love what they did with the rendering dialog. Now, when it's rendering out, you don't have to stretch the screen all the way over like you did previously. Now, it has, you know, it has a few little graphical and uh, cosmetic changes and that sort of thing. All in all, I'm very, very pleased with the progress that Cadian Live has made. Um, I'm going to actually do some advanced tutorials in the near future on Cadian Live. I just wanted to do initial review of this. I like the workflow. Um, also, I like the fact that this is very, very, very precise. For instance, if I really wanted to zoom in really close on audio, I can do that. And I can get this down. You'll see that this is seven seconds right here. And from here to here, that's five seconds. I can zoom in even closer if I want to. And let me go ahead and drag this over so that you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, I didn't mean to do it that way. My bad. But you can see by the counters here that we literally have complete control over. Um, you can get this down to a tenth of a second or even lower resolution because now we're down to one second intervals and you can actually make your transitions a lot smaller, especially if you turn off snapping. And actually, um, I don't ever go in this high of a resolution. Very rarely will I ever use that. But it's really neat how it gives you complete control over everything here. Let me go ahead and uh, fit to view. So all in all, very, very nice. Um, yeah, here's the snapping tool. If I had shut that off there, I don't use snapping very much because I'm never quite that precise in my video editor. But um, very, very powerful video editing indeed. You can do all kinds of compositing. There are so many effects that you can apply in here. And uh, they've really improved the interface for tweaking those effects as well. If you thought this was useful, please comment below. And uh, keep an eye out. I am going to be doing a lot more videos on my channel where multimedia is concerned because this is my true passion. And I have really been considering um, devoting a lot more time in that area. I noticed as I was going through my playlists on my channel that I only have 10 videos and I have videos covering every other topic except for my favorite one. So I'm definitely going to be releasing a lot more multimedia in Linux videos. 
because I know there's a number of you that are screaming for it and Linux is a wonderful operating system for multimedia production as you will see in my upcoming videos and so definitely check out my video editing and multimedia section I'm going to be covering applications that you can use mostly applications that I consider to be my personal favorites that I like to work with but you are welcome to suggest other applications for multimedia authoring in my request section I'll have a look at those and play with them a little bit thanks for watching and we will see you next time